Good morning everyone. I hope you are all well and ready for another busy day ahead. Today we are going to start some of our health and well-being program and we're going to be looking at be resilient. Primary twos, you might recognise this from last year. This is our be resilient program and through it we're going to be learning lots of different ways to help us deal with things if things get a little bit challenging or a little bit tricky. Today, we're going to start off with the very first topic, which is be resilient. Now, being resilient is something we hear people talking about lots and lots, but what does it actually mean? Well, being resilient means that if something goes wrong, we're not just the sort of people that give up. We don't give up. We think about things for a while, and then we think, right, how am I going to deal with this? How am I going to make things better? How am I going to sort this out? And that's what today's assembly is all about. Don't let things get you down. If something goes wrong, have a think. Why did it go wrong? And how can I sort that? We all have times when things don't quite work out to plan, but it's how we deal with that that's really important. As part of our Building Resilience programme, today we're going to focus on the first tip, be resilient. Primary twos, you might recognise this from last year, but it's something that we need to practice every year until we get better and better at it. When we talk about building resilience, we think about life being like a river, and we call this the river of life. Sometimes we'll find ourselves in calm waters. That means that life is going well. Everything is going exactly as you would like it to. Everybody is playing nicely and you are feeling quite happy and content with the way things are going. Sometimes we might find ourselves in difficult waters or choppy waters. This can be if something doesn't quite go to plan. For example, today when I was recording my assembly for you, the first time I recorded it, I forgot to have the volume on my iPad. So I had to re-record my whole assembly again. Not what I wanted to do. It felt like I was on the river of life and it was a little bit choppy and difficult. But just like real rivers, our days can have choppy parts and it can have calm parts. Parts of our days when everything goes well and parts of our days when things can be a little bit tricky. But what we have to remember is just like a real river, the difficult times or the choppy water doesn't last forever. Today, I would like to introduce you to Skipper. Skipper is this character here in the orange. And he is somebody we're going to keep on meeting throughout all our building resilience work. He has got a video that he would like to show you all about somebody who also had to learn to be resilient. Let's take a look. Here's a story on how strange is life with its changes and it happened not long ago. On a high mountain plain where the sagebrush arranges a playground south of the snow. Lived a lamb with a coat of remarkable sheen. It would glint in the sunlight all sparkly and clean. Such a source of great pride that it caused him to preen. And he'd break out in high step and dance. He would dance for his neighbors across the way. I must say that they found his dancing and handsome for that also joined in the play.
around and up the slope came a great American jackalope. This sage of the sage, this rare hair of hope, caused a pause and check out the lamb. Hey, kid, why the mope? Why, well, used to be something all covered with fluff and I'd dance in the sunlight and show off my stuff. Then they hauled me away in a manner quite rough and shared me and dropped me back here in the buff. And if that's not enough, now my friends all laugh at me because they think I look ridiculous, funny, and pink. <laughs> pink? Pink? Well, what's wrong with pink? Seems you've got a pink pink in your thing. Doesn't matter what color, that gets nope. Be it pink, purple, or heliotrope. Now, sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down. When you find that you're down, well, just look around. You still got a body, good legs and fine feet. Get your head in the right place and hey, you're complete. Now as for the dancing, you can do more, you can reach great heights, in fact you can soar, you just get a leg up and you slide on down, and you'll find you're up in what's called a bound, bound, bound and rebound, bound and you're up right next to the sky, and I think you can do it if you give it a try. First get a leg up, slap it on down. So every year, long about May, they'd float him up and they'd haul him away, and they'd shave him and duck him, all naked and bare. He learned to live with it. He didn't care. He just bound, bound, bound and rebound. Now in this world, ups and downs, so nice to know there are jackalopes around. I hope you enjoyed that video. But I want you to think carefully about that video clip and about the sheep there. When things were going well, he was quite happy. He felt good and confident and very pleased with himself. But then people started to laugh at him, which wasn't very kind. And he didn't know what to do. But luckily, he had a friend to help him. And his friend helped him to realise that actually, I can deal with this. It's a bit like that river of life, isn't it? Things were going really well, like a smooth, calm river. And then things started to go wrong. The poor sheep had to have a shave for the summer so he wouldn't be too hot. But he didn't like the way he looked and his friends laughed at him. So his river of life became a bit difficult, a bit choppy. I want you to have a think. And if this time, have a talk with your teacher just now. Think of a time when your river of life was smooth. What's happened today that's gone really well? Also, what's happened today that's not gone quite so well? What have you had to deal with? How did you deal with things? How did you make yourself feel more positive and move forwards? I'll be really interested to hear all your ideas and tips for how we can help each other to feel a bit better if our rivers become a little bit choppy. Have a great day. <laughs>